really love these monthly things. It is so much fun to be here with you, the Fresh Inspiration Show. I tell you, in our group, hashtag inspirers, hashtag arrivers, you coming in and really, really getting into this mindset transformation entertainment that it, it feels like this is what we need. We need that good juice, stuff that allows the space to clear and breathe in new air and get into that vibe, you know, get into that vibe of that we got this. Because sometimes we got this doesn't look so good because we're trying to get there and we may accidentally fake it till we make it and it hurts. It hurts when we try and be something. And I was talking about that earlier about letting things go, but what does that feel like? Because I didn't realize that I was doing stuff that um, I thought that I was being, you know, authentic. But when I got to know myself more, I go, oh, I was trying to control stuff. So I believe maybe in some ways I'm still trying to control stuff, but it just, it's less or whatever. It's just gonna keep coming up as we learn to release more and more. And I feel like I'll be learning that till I'm, you know, till I pass on from um, being here on earth. And, um, so I think it's a, it's a learning thing because the healing starts coming even deeper and deeper the more we get to learn about ourselves and you know how we want to show up. It's great questions to ask ourselves because that really is what opens up into how you can open up that new path. When you see that path and you see the beautiful trees and whatever's on the ground and the scents all around you, it starts opening up to the beauty of what you want in life. And it takes away the judgment, the judgment of, you are like, oh, I don't, I don't know everything. And it's like, you are right, you don't, and I don't either. Like, who, who knows everything? Please come in a circle, share with everything you know, because I just want it all. And then you're going to realize that might be Google, and we still don't know it all. No way. <laughs> so, so true. Now that we're so all true. here learning, huh? Yeah. Yes. You know, I, I love what you're saying here because you're just setting the stage for what I'm going to talk about today, which is mm -hmm. so fun. But mm -hmm. I love that. You know, it takes the pressure off. If we can just trust the process, I think that's what it's about. It really just trust is, the huh? process. You have to believe that you are exactly where you're supposed to be doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and that everything that happens to you is really happening for you. And it's, it's just putting you in the place where you should be for your next best step. And then yeah. we're forever evolving. We need to take the pressure off of that whole uh, having to know everything or be everything because we are evolving. And as long as we are a few steps ahead of the people we're mentoring, we're right where we're supposed to be, yeah. right? We go step by step. Yeah, we do, we do. Laura said, I use my fingers too. Hey, Laura, what was I doing when I was I doing some kind of. You were counting the years. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Kim. Hours, not years. That feels like years, right? Hours. I'm, th I'm hours. three years old. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Let's get going. Okay. So when I got this song, the Fresh Inspiration um, song, it is from Orgina Rose. And Orgina Rose is this beautiful flower that really cruises around the world and uh last time i talked to her she was in um, or gina if you um, are here you're coming through and replay if you catch this but i believe like in england and it was it was beautiful because she i spent time with her in arizona and she put the song together for me and it's so basic but what we talked about about having a song that comes from a spirit like that that, that this is her whole life. And I want you to think about this of where you say your yeses and how can it level you up and feel like the, like the song is seeing and hearing what we're doing. So the song is so basic, but the, the feeling, and I usually don't always listen to words too. Sometimes I'm feeling more of the spirit of the song and I think it has a nice upbeat song. So this is what Orgina Rose did for us. Fresh 
Inspiration. Welcome, welcome into the Fresh Inspiration Show. I am here with you, Rhonda Liebig, and we are going to be hosting and playing and bringing in new stars. We got Cami Lehman here. Cami Lehman or Lemon? Lehman, you got it right the first time. Cami Lehman, we have here. Welcome in. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to be here. And soon we're going to have Kimberly Costi and Kimberly is just as fun as us three ladies and we're going to hold the space for you. Today it's about I can, I can, I can, I got it. It's what it is. <laughs> right, and I'll be doing the running man. <laughs> Wait, I'll do the Michael Jackson. I'll do the moonwalk. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Can we, can we hold you to that? By the end of the show, can we see on the moonwalk? She's looking at her. I was like, no. <laughs> this no. is about... <laughs> can, no, Cammy's looking around. Hold on, I hold space here for a moment. Cammy, sit <laughs> No, around. I'm good. Cammy, do you know how to do the moonwalk? Uh, I could do uh, an intoxicated version. <laughs> yeah. From the days, from back in the days. <laughs> Okay, anybody else can do the moonwalk. I want you to post here. And then Laura said, counting, figuring out the time differences, I think. Oh, I know it's all the same, huh, Laura? Laura Conklin Nielsen Holbrook. Woo-hoo! All right. This is where we get to play. This is where we get to bring the flow with the mind. And sometimes we stop ourselves. When we stop ourselves, what happens? We are not present. And when it doesn't feel like we're present, the mind, you know, the fight or flight. Today, we're going to get you out of that. Hang in. Now, this inspiration gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So at first, you may come in and go, well, you know, because maybe it's your first time. I invite you to stay longer because what happens is you get used to the vibe because this is not like any kind of show you're going to be in because this is about creatively whatever happens here happens here and it can't happen anywhere else but right here. So, of course, it's going to be unique. How can it not? Because we're going to hold the space for everybody to be authentic, help us all heal because we all have healing to do, don't you think so? Like, come on, let's let's be real about this. The more that we get to see, like in truth, and that doesn't have to be this thing where, oh, I don't have any healing to do. I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's those other people. Or you come in and you feel so big wounded and it's been hard to patch it up. Things can be happening. And I wanna hold a moment here just for a moment. Two days ago, my good friend came to my door and told me that my client passed away last week. And I got confused. And I understood that I even told my client that this, you may be my first client that passes on unless we move things forward. And so that's what happened. So of course I'm coming in. I got some wounds going on here. But the Fresh Inspiration Show, you can lift up that big old carpet. You know, those muscles and the bicep is like, that's probably the strongest part of your body because we're always like moving forward. And it's like, you can lift that carpet. You can put all that stuff down there. Close it up. Seal it up. Okay. I'm fine for the day. And you just let it go. And you go, man, I'm so strong because I don't feel that. Nobody knows what's going on. And you start feeling this, but the but it's a different feeling. It's like this feeling of that your feet are grounded, but the energy comes up and you're like, ooh, and, you're, and then all of a sudden your day is just hijacked with high energy that's not grounded and it's hard for you to connect with people but it looks like you're happy and like yes i am so happy hey i said the running man kimmy i said the running man <laughs> i love it cheers <laughs> 
So people are going to want to be with you. You're going to want to be with people if you allow yourself the space to cut those strings that sealed that carpet there and let it, let it open up. Get curious and go, wow, this is how I feel. But you know, we can't put words to it because anything that's big, tell me a fresh inspiration job and a window right here and I'm ready to answer anything. When you start feeling that stuff, it gets all buzzy and weird and kind of, well, how do I deal with that? And it's okay. Take the control out of it. Allow yourself to be and things will come and just allow them to come. Now, the scary part here, and I say scary because we are learning to do this. Some have more experiences than others. Emotions are going to come in. So throughout the day, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel like Susan is right here, my client who passed away. But I still get to be happy because what we are working on here is actually the true feeling and emotion of what joy is. Joy is different. I'm going to take it from uh, a past show star and also a client, um, Sabina Gorka Schrode. She didn't create this, but we do talk about this a lot. There's a difference between happiness and joy. Now, this is all about the Fresh Inspiration Show, Mindset Transformation Entertainment. Come on, get your pencils, pens, journal. And I want to give you a download here if you want to take this, you want to print this up too. And you can have the notes where you get to write any notes that you want if you don't have a journal. And you, if you have a printer available, then just use this form right here. It's very easy. Use that. Now, the difference between happiness, happiness, and joy. Happiness and joy. And even grounded. There's, there's differences here. When I first came in and I sealed up the carpet and I put everything under there, I can be happy. Like, yeah, you better believe it. Let's go out and let's go to Starbucks. Let's go get some junk food because I feel like it. I don't know why, but I want to numb, but I don't know why. But I do it. But in my mind, I'm having fun. I put everything under the carpet, hanging out with people or hanging out by myself. And this sugary stuff, it just makes me feel so good. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I am so strong. Now that's happiness. Happiness can affect our body, our brain, because we're in the happiness factor. We're like, yeah, but we're not really grounded. We're just saying, what do my taste buds want? What kind of conversations do I want? And it gets us in to spaces that don't feel whole. So when we go to bed at night, there can be the fraud syndrome that comes out or that pain that you tried to push and push and push. And at night, it just, that's the horror that comes through. Wake up at two in the morning, you go, oh, because you wake up and you're very vulnerable. Joy, joy. You unstitch the carpet and you go, it's okay. It's okay, it's a delicate situation or you're like, you're, I'm just freaky, feeling the pain, whatever it is. You go, it's okay. But we don't do this alone. That's where we get to call a friend that we know that is on the same wavelength as us. Not the ones that like the sizzle and, and try and, you know, oh, how are you feeling? But they want to pull that out. Get someone that understands the grounding part that they want to hold the space so you can stay in the joy. You can feel the pain and still have the joy. Joy is that you love life, that you love being in it, that you love from your heart, that you, you feel, I can open that up. I can keep my heart open to people and you know you're going to be safe. Joy is just, I love, I love you. I love you. Man, but I'm really sad about my, my client Susan passing away. And when I hear the stories and when I held her hair, when she'd come in, she came in three times a week and I'd hold her hair, move her hair. And I would put my hip on her back and I'd help her twist. And then we would talk about these books 
she was so ready to be an author and she really loved on life. So see where I'm going with this? You get to enjoy the stories and they're painful, but you get to enjoy whatever it is that, that feels not stuck here where you, you don't know how it's going to happen, but maybe 10 years down the road, finally, it's just going to come out or just going to stay with you for the rest of your life. But it's the pain. Your health will feel it and it hurts us. And in our industry, where I'm going with this is really, really important because the past couple of years has been very challenging. If you hold that stuff in your body, it can lock up your body in ways that you don't even understand why your body's hurting. And it, it does things. Anybody else ever felt that before? You're in the right place if you understand that. And you, may not, you don't have to fully understand it. You just know you're kind of on the same wavelength. So I invite you in today to know what your stories are or allow them to flow through. Because what happens in this inspirational world is that we don't pull stuff from the back and... All those stories, yeah, they, those might come up, but we love to look at the future. Things may look so just like so much fun. Enjoy it because it is fun. It's not fake because we're coming in, allowing that carpet to stay open and flowy so that we feel it. And when we feel the pain, us inspirers, good morning, Dodie. Good morning, my friend. I'm so happy you're here. When we feel 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 then we get to get deeper conversation then we get to be even bigger inspirers or bigger hashtag arrivers you're coming here and you're saying i need this dodie what do you think about this today do you feel like you need it i feel like i need it every day because i'm in truth i'm not walking around saying no nope, i don't need it no nope, i don't need it if somebody comes to me and says i want to have a conversation i'm like curious i'm like yeah what, what, what do you want to talk about? All right, let's do it. Let's talk, you know, and you, you get curious. So I welcome you in to get curious. I welcome you in to stay longer than a minute. I welcome you in to stay in longer than an hour. But if you have to take a little break, come back in. Take a deep breath in. I hope this is serving you. Exhale, release, release. Let me give a little transition here. I hope you're enjoying the, this opening ceremony. It's warming up the body, getting things tuned up so that you're like, you're kind of like releasing. Maybe you have an ache in your elbow and like, why is that stuck? And it just starts releasing because you're having fun. You can't feel it anymore. You're like, man, my arthritis has hurt me, but not anymore. And you're like, yeah. So I welcome you in to allow that flow, flow to happen for you. Kimmy, I'm welcoming you into some more conversation. Let's do this. And I know that Kimberly is going to be here also. It's so funny. Um, Kimberly is so beautiful. I, I, I've seen her speak a couple of times. She's so much fun. And you already know that, you know, Cammy is hot stuff. I mean, come on, top 40s in iTunes and talking about women being invincible. But so, um, so Kimberly's going to be here soon, too. So let me ask you this, Cami, and you can go and riff with it. I always think of it, our vocals as music. You can riff, Mama. I, anything lately that you've been working through? Like, how does your work, and it could be, you know, somebody you had in your podcast or a client, and um, and how how does it feel these days? Is, is Do you feel like people are more vulnerable? I'd love to hear Cami, Cami, not your talk that we're going to be um, being able to yeah. able here but share something my friend yeah so well my podcast is all about vulnerability and authenticity so it's it's called she's invincible uh and what we do is we pull back the curtain and we share the good the bad and the ugly of the journey to success so when women are comparing themselves which we hope they don't, but we can't stop them, right? They're, uh, we've tried. So what we do is we give them something real and authentic to compare to. So they see these mountaintop experiences. They see you hosting this show and all this amazing uh, information and thought process that you're bringing to them. And they think, oh, she's so smart. She's so wise. She's so connected. But they don't know that Rhonda who was journeying to this place. 
So I think everyone that comes on my show is vulnerable and they are so authentic. And, you know, we team up, we team up to help others who are watching, who are out there in the grind, who are finding it very difficult. We're, we're really here to inspire them. So we get like, we tell all tales, right? There's nothing off the table, but I mean, there are people who've lost it all. There, you know, they've been uh, just so many, I, I don't even want to give away all of it. I'd say, listen to some of the stories, but you know, they've lost everything. They've uh, suffered from eating disorders and uh, mental disorders, all kinds of things. And, you know, the truth is that as an entrepreneur, we owe it to the others to share the truth because we make it look so easy. And then there's all of these other women out there and they are on their journey and they think there's something wrong with them because they're comparing themselves to that highlight reel, which isn't the truth, right? It's the truth today. And tomorrow will even be different as you were talking about that evolution, right? Of that evolving and always becoming like that next best version of yourself. When, they, when you see someone on the mountaintop, they have been evolving forever. We call them those 30 year overnight successes, right? <laughs> they've, been, they've been on a grind for 30 years that you know nothing about. And tomorrow they're gonna be having their mountaintop experience. And that's where you're gonna come in and compare yourself. Is that fair? So, but that, that's really what we talk a lot about. So I think every person that I talk to, uh, one of the things that I could say that's happening like just this week is in my coaching school. So I'm working with entrepreneurs to launch top podcasts right now. We're right in the middle of a season and every one of these women are stretching. And it's, I remember when I did that two years ago, it's painful and you want to give up and you know, it, it can be very difficult, but it is what makes you grow and it makes you the person that you become and it prepares you for that next greatest step that you're going to take. And I love that so much, Rhonda. And it's, it's, I'm glad you brought it up because it gives me an opportunity to give that shout out to anyone who's trying to do anything bigger. You know, when you're trying to stretch yourself and grow, it is not comfortable. It is, we're not made for that, right? We weren't wired for that, but yet that's what it takes to live your best life. That's what it takes to show up as the best version of yourself. And it, you're being called to do that. And here's the coolest thing. You're the only one who can do what you were put here on this earth to do. No one else can come in and do it for you. Like it's you or it's never, right? No, no one else can do what you can do. They can't say what you're supposed to say. They can't make a difference that you're supposed to make. No one can take your place. So if you don't step up and do it, it's never going to happen. I know. Bam. I love it. But bam. I'm going to put this so Bam. Bam. Us both in calorie review so everybody can see. I know I love what you're saying, Kimmy. Um, okay, so we have some questions here. And but Laura says, yes, the truth is critical to joy and success. I know, Laura. Add anything else about what you what what you find in joy, because Laura has beautiful horses at her ranch. Um, we've done some shows with Laura before. And then Dodie um says, How can one get a one-on-one -on -one counsel with the coach? Yeah, um, Dodie. You just, you put down, um, basically you have Cammie who's putting a podcast, has a podcast uh, mastermind going on. She's um, starting to guide people how to get to the top there. And then Dodie, I um, can also message you because I know you've been speaking about that. So that, that might be something that you can instant message us too. I've already tagged Cammie. So if you are very drawn to Cammie and her energy, please message her. And then you know how to how to contact me also. Kim, with these, this is kind of like a little fun little inter interview. Oh, we, about, oh, I'm up for it. Yeah, it's all about the opening ceremony and like, you know, like what, who are we as beings? And that's why I love speaking to what everybody is saying here. Yeah, Jody, thumbs up. Woohoo! Kim, Kim, with um, having the podcast and you're hearing these stories, and of course you get to see the good, the bad, the ugly, and, and like you get to celebrate, you get to pull the curtain. I got to be part of Kemi's podcast. It's incredible. It's like you're feeling like you're being so nurtured and floated because you, you'll understand why her podcast is at the top because you're very nurtured 
all the way through the the time together uh, together about 30 minutes for you what kind of stuff do you do when you hear the good and the bad because it's like this ooh kind of a feeling you hear a lot of bad stories and then you hear these really good stories you have to sit within that 30 minutes but how do you cleanse and do stuff or is there special self-care that you do that helps you arrive and feel like okay i'm fresh ready to go again Oh, I'm going to be so, so truthful with you right now. It's exactly what you said about happiness and joy, you know, and I love this. And I have a friend who talks about this all the time, but it's like happiness is fleeing, right? So you go through, you have these conversations and, and they're high and they're low and you're happy and you're sad and you kind of embrace them. Right. And you, you send love to those people, but we find joy in the moments. Joy is a state of mind. Joy is with us. We're either joyful. We can choose to find joy in the moments. And really that's what we do on the podcast. You know, we go, it's, it's so interesting when I hear someone's story, I hear their whole story. And then I ask them like, what is the ugly? And I think in my mind, they're going to say one thing, but they say something totally different. And I think, you mean having cancer wasn't the ugliest part of your journey? And they're like, no, it was imposter syndrome. And I think, how is that possible? Yeah. So I think that is what it is, is that, you know, we're holding space for these people and we, we have to try not to judge like what that story is and how they're actually processing it. Because what we think internally where we are in that moment is of course, this would have to be the worst part. You lost everything. And they're like, no, that wasn't it at all. It was that my, you know, person I trusted turned on me. Like, oh my gosh, right? So it's really so eye-opening and uh, just gives you this new perspective to, to, you know, of unconditional, right? It's almost like an unconditional thing where you can't really make a judgment or a decision based on what they're saying. But I have to tell you that in every good and bad and ugly, like it always turns back to the gratefulness and the joy. You know, I spoke to someone yesterday and I said, you know, what would you do different? She said, absolutely nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Because every bit of what I went through has taken me to where I am today. And I wouldn't trade one story for that. Oh. So yeah, so it's easy. It's really easy for me because I don't have to own that. Mm. I can just love them where they are, yeah. give them what they need. And together we celebrate the person that they are because of it. Yeah. Um, um, behind you, I see dream. And what are your other plaques? Love your. It was oh, your yeah. So one says she believes she could. So she did. One says, great things happen on the other side of your comfort zone. And one says, live your dream. And I'm looking, I just, sorry, I forget. Like, and this one I made myself and it says, she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. Oh. So they're so fun, right? Yeah. Hey, the Fresh Inspiration Show, what's one of your favorite, favorite quotes or uh, things that you love living by. I love the symposium style because I want to make sure that we get the stuff, you know, that you're feeling. And Dodie said, thank you, Cammy. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Because Dodie, we start feeling like regular. I remember 12 years ago when I transitioned from being in the uh, office at corporate and more of like, you know, on the computer consistently, eyes like, you know, right here um, into this, this world. It's like, um, I didn't understand how important coaches really, really are. You know what Cammie's doing with her stuff, she's really, really helping people understand how special they are. I mean, there's more to it. It's not, you're not just learning the strategies because the strategies are important, but to do those strategies and to do them loud and 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 vibrate at a frequency, you know that Cammy's bringing a lot of love so that people understand their vulnerability and and what they're doing out there, and you know and and why they want to do what they are doing because we can get easily lost in our passion when we get into those details and to blend those are really important. I love. Um, 
I love that hearing all these different vocals that come through the Fresh Inspiration show and these vocals sound like music. And you hear when Cammie is talking, you can feel the energy, you can feel the excitement of life. And that's where we're going with this today is that you get to have a, a pulse of three women holding the space for you in a way that we're going to be talking about marketing today. And when you're having fun in marketing, now I hear a lot of people say, oh, I can't stand marketing. And you're like, what? It's all about playing. And, and the, but the vulnerability around that, that's the first breakthrough. And, uh, and not always staring at yourself on video and like being concerned about what you look like. Because I know um, in May I'll be 53. And when I think about this, I think about when I started 12 years ago in the camera, you know, I was already picking myself apart. Who doesn't do that? When you start looking more inside and start really feeling what life is about, it, it's easier because you don't look at yourself in physicality. You dress yourself up because you go, man, this makes me feel good because this is our place to be. When you start feeling like this is the place to be, then it is, it's easier to get in front of community or having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And the Fresh Inspiration Show, I don't know if you've ever had this. When I was growing up, there was, um, I would only want to have one person looking at me. And if I had more than one person looking at me, it felt like I was on a stage in my brain. And so I got embarrassed because I felt like I wasn't ready for the show yet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's too many people looking at me when I say something, more than one ear is going to hear me. Oh, my gosh. And then my pineal gland, because we all work on a hormone system, would just, like, exude heat. And then all of a sudden, my face would be totally red. And I'd be like, oh, my gosh, don't turn red. Don't get embarrassed. And, like, in back here, I'm all beating myself up. Don't turn red. Don't turn red. Oh, my gosh. Now you have to walk away. And I'd just, like, walk away sometimes. People would be like, halfway in conversation with me, and I'd go, L -l -l -l. <laughs> oh, my, I hurt my light. I'll fix it in just a minute. And I can remember at my high school reunion, it was uh, probably 10 years or 15, I don't even know, last time that I went. And somebody was talking to me, and she was like one of the most popular girls in the school. She was always very, very nice. Sometimes people can be very popular and they don't know how to handle it and they can come off snooty and rude. She was always, Jimmy, she was always nice to me. So when she was looking at me, I got, all of a sudden I was back in high school. <laughs> and so I was, and so she was talking to me. She was talking a lot because she was so happy to see me. I couldn't handle that. Anybody else, you know, like when somebody really loves on you and you're like, they really like me. Well, this is really uncomfortable. And that, that's how I was feeling at the time. So she was talking to me and I was like, <laughs> and, I, and I walked away. And as I was walking away, this is how, you know, this is the person who didn't have social skills. Anybody else can laugh about that or stuck with it. You know, we got your back. And, you know, you think about the things that, that you do. Cammie, come on, open up. How many how many stories you got there? I want to hear a couple of, come on, riff with me here a bit. And oh my gosh, I, I got. So add it here, add it here, because this is about mindset transformation. Let's get you entertained here. Yes, I have 30 years of stories. I, I have 50 years of stories. But so just, I'll just pick up where you just went. So I have been in direct sales for, well, I've, for 28 years as a top leader and, um, and it was cosmetic. So I was so nervous. I was always good working one-on-one -on -one with people, but being in a group and having to speak was difficult, which is kind of what you're talking about here as well. And so, uh, you know, uh, the turning red, like all the things. And I was always in the beginning so nervous about having all these people stare at me as I stood there and talked and walked them through like this process. And then it was the funniest thing. I went to that first one and I realized they're not staring at me. They're looking at themselves in the mirror. And it was like that first epiphany. They're like in the mirror. Like you put a mirror in front of a woman. She is not listening to anything you say. She's looking at her own self, examining every part of her face, her neck, her 
ears, the whole bit. And it is hysterical. And, but I, you know, that was, I think in the beginning when I realized I need to stop worrying about what other people think because they're not thinking about me. And I think, you know, as one of the things in life that holds many women up is that, you know, we are afraid of what people are going to think. You know, what if we say the wrong thing or we don't, it doesn't work out well. We try something, it fails. We fall on our face. Guess what, guys? They're not talking about you. They're not thinking about you. They, you know, and we just, we make all that up in our minds. And um, I, I, you know, there's just so many stories, but that's just one of like, you know, imagine being nervous about standing in front of these women and now you can't even get their attention because they're like this in their mirror. <laughs> and it's like, hello, come back to me, come back to me. And they're like, what about this lipstick? You're like, uh, get me out of here. So I, you know, that was definitely, um, it put me in my place, which I thought this is good early on, get it over with, right? Yeah, I love this because the thing is, my hubby the other day, I, I'd say like probably like a year ago, I was going through some big stuff, but I was having these breakthroughs about, you know, uh, like acknowledging things. I'm like, oh man, it's time to pull that, you know, that out and that out. I can see it. It doesn't fit anymore. And he came to me and said, darn it. You think everything is about you. Like, and instead of me like getting triggered and going, what? You know, my 29 year old, when I met him, I, I said, I know, <laughs> I know. And I, and I'm trying to, to like heal that because that's why I'm sick. Like that's what I was talking about my sickness. Cause like now I'm saying, I'm not sick. You know, let's, let's, let's fix whatever doesn't feel right, but I'm not sick. And he was like, oh, wait, she's listening to me. <laughs> it was actually probably one of the pivots in our relationship. So this relationship is incredible. Uh, almost 25 years being together. And the thing is, is that that's where our healing spot is, is sometimes we, we are stuck in our emotion. What was some of the TikTok stuff we talked about? Because this is this is would be one of those um, not focusing on our own vulnerability. Because that that's like we start feeling those things, and we think that's what we're that we're that's what we're supposed to do. Because we feel it, and we think our feelings and emotions are truly us. But what it is is just you know we we have these words that we say to ourselves. It's about sixty thousand words a day. 80% of those can be negative. I know if you're in the mindset transformation, it's it's going to be less than the 80% that we say to ourselves because you're going to start breaking through. But out of those words that we say to ourselves and that, that are negative, it's stuff that's been cycled. And about 90% of those words are actually a cycle. So when you look at that, you're like, hey, wait. So these things I'm saying, no wonder why I'm looking at myself. Because... Whatever happened, whenever that happened, maybe somebody said something or looked at us, or maybe it was some type of like abuse situation. You're like, you're, you're working on clearing that because that's why we want this stuff. So it's like, okay, that's our past, but like moving forward, how do we get to work? How do we get to, how do we get to work through that? Well, yeah. that's why we think it's about us. That's what's so beautiful is that when you start looking at that, you don't feel guilty because, because of us talking about this and saying, here, wait, you know, and it's not that. It's like you get to get curious and you get to bring your, your, uh, come on, get your journal out there, everybody. Get your journal out there and get your pen. And what we're talking about here, this really is transformation because we're going to have buzz stuff like that that's going to get you. And if you don't agree, I want to hear it because let's, let's have great conversation because there is not a debate that's going to end with us fighting. The debate is going to be, hey, how do you feel? Here, this is how I feel. And the years of us being in the industry, and I bet some of you have been out there in the industry for a while, and I want to hear from you because there's sometimes you say inspirers, hashtag inspirers that are watching the show. Sometimes you have stuff to say that I'm not even like even aware that I would, that that's not coming in my sphere. And just because I have the mic doesn't mean you don't either. So that's why I have Cammy unmuted. Cammy's play with us in opening ceremony. We're getting ready to um, enter Rhonda Lou Moxie and I'll share with you at 845. We're almost at 12 o'clock here for Cami. Um, everybody in Eastern time. Um, my pot, my beautiful podcast partner that I was with uh, like six years ago. Um, she's in Sweden time. And I remember when her and I were doing stuff. So if you're over there abroad, you're like nine, eight hours difference. If you're in Philippines, I mean, you know, so no matter where you are, I welcome you in. But I do welcome you in because we're going to open stuff up. 
And if we open stuff up, I want you to clear it because this is where you get the entertainment because you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And we go, we'll say something, you go, oh. <laughs> you start writing it or you start typing it. And you're like, and then you get to go again. Yeah, yeah. And it just keeps going, it keeps flowing. So you feel that? Give yourself the grounding. And this is why I love to play. This is literally the place that you get to, when you get to, you know, do things like that. Or you get to go, hmm. And you get to be, I welcome that in. I welcome in all parts of you. Because every part is you scrumptiously beautiful. <sighs> Can we, did you enjoy the opening ceremony? Are you having fun? I am having fun. This is a lot of fun. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Let's see who, who checked in here. Dodie and Laura. Oh, and me too. I must have liked the video. It says Rhonda Liebig was here. <laughs> oh, we have some people here. I welcome you in. I welcome you in. Uh, any, anything to say or the Fresh Inspiration Show? We're getting ready to transition. So let me set the stage here. Take a deep breath in. You have a half an hour with me. Cammy. I'm going to do this really fun thing. And the Fresh Inspiration Show, if you weren't here at 7.30 and I was playing with you doing the one, two minute videos for TikTok, I expressed something that was really important to me. You're gonna hear some things because I wanna make sure that everything's flowing for everybody. Sometimes people are trying to get into our private group. Um, and Don has been trying to get in. What's Don saying? I've joined the group, but re request pending. Okay, Don, I am going to, so if you are, um, if you know somebody that's trying to get in, then I am going to make sure that you get in. And as we're transitioning, I want you to take down the notes of what you've learned at this point so that you get an opportunity to comment, to breathe it in and feel what you're feeling because this moment you're not going to be able to capture again. And once you start capturing that for yourself, you're going to, mm -hmm. thanks Don. Don is coming in also as a participant watching. I want to say, hi, um, hi Don, welcome in. Anybody else that have friends are trying to get in? Give me a heads up because we have, we have technical support, but sometimes we don't catch it all. So I want you to breathe this in and give yourself the opportunity to have your ups and downs. Kim brought in that she is, you, she's working with people that, you know, and, and herself too, and, and me, and I bet you, where you have these ups and downs, you're like, and that's what life is. It's not about balance. It's always about rebalancing. And that, that is what's beautiful. You have me for a half an hour and we are going to be, I'm going to be your vitality coach. I want to give you the experience, but I want to give you some structure so that you're ready to use your journal or you're ready to put everything aside and, and be. And so let me introduce who Rhonda Lou Moxie is. I changed my speaker name to Rhonda Lou Moxie because I knew it was the right spirit. It, it felt like it. You know how we get to dance and play here? I've learned so much over the five years of what moxie means. It's like just like just being bold, acting like yourself. Anybody else with me about this, you know? And all of a sudden I'm like, here, wait, I need a moxie last name. And Lee Big means love. So I now I get to have a love, love, love last name because in German, that's what it is, love. But, you know, in the U.S., it's like lie big. So then I adjusted it. And now Rhonda Moxie. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So what is this Rhonda Moxie? It's the same woman. That's all right here. You saw it all. But now I get to hold the stage for you out there. Oh, for you out there that you have that Moxie in you. And you're like this leaning forward, like, what the heck does that mean? You're like, oh, yeah, bring it in. You're like, but I'm too shy. Rhonda the Moxie is here for you. Meaning, Rhonda Liebig, meaning I am here for you. A name is a name is a name. Let me introduce Rhonda Lou Moxie. And Rhonda Liebig, the host, is here for you also.
quiet here, the space. Allow yourself. Before, I used to want everything to be smooth, transition, and I would have been speaking to you as I was transitioning, but I want every word to be important that it really serves the space here. So if there's transition or there's quiet space, it's what's meant to be. Take a deep breath in. We are looking at vitality. Rhonda Lou Moxie is coming in. And this is about Rhonda Lou Moxie. Rhonda Lou Moxie has a spiritual pulse creating in her high vitality intuition while showing up in all her dance and playfulness with a live and virtual audience. Hence, Lou and Moxie were birthed. Rhonda is a two-time published author, certified health coach, speaker agent, business coach, founder of the Fresh Inspiration Show, woo, woo, and CEO of Vitality Heart Hub. With over 10 years in the business world and 20 years in the health industry, she has overcome personal health struggles by learning how to stop, reframe, and revitalize. Rhonda was on thyroid medicine for 20 years, and she is going to share with you the key to vitality and success through using both physical and emotional awareness. A negative mindset will destroy positive intentions while working harder, leaving you fatigued with no quantum leap results. She speaks to audiences internationally on the how-tos to the increase healthy cash, vitality, and clarity of mind to live in their life unapologetically. Run their business as the passionate CEO that is ready to arrive, inspire. We all need a vitality refresher in this new world and creating at a new level through our heart. That is my quote from me to you. Rhonda is a frequent featured guest on local television stations, best-selling author, and a creator of a multimedia platform, The Fresh Inspiration Show for speakers to support audiences in high quality, I hope so, <laughs> Mindset Transformation Entertainment, I hope so, I hope this is working for you, which originally, we you know, we did go live. Live speaker toured throughout Northern California, Las Vegas, or Arizona, and now a monthly virtual show, and a podcast and edited TV show on Roku and Fire Stick TV. That's me. Hey, welcome in. Let me set the stage for you here. Vitality. What is your definition of vitality? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the stage of what that means. Get in there, ask any questions. I'm right here for you. And Don, I'm so happy to have you here. Laura, Dodie, and whoever else is checking in. I'm so happy to have you here. Write down, speak to it, your definition of vitality. Let me give you the experience. Oh, Dodie says we're going to Idaho. Dodie, invite us in. The Fresh Inspiration Show will be there for you. Flow. Freedom. Your heart it doesn't clog up that left shoulder. The hand doesn't get frozen. Vitality. Freedom. You get to welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Receive, receive. Oxygen. You get to release. That's a hard one. But vitality is the understanding and learning what that means about receiving and releasing. Releasing is letting go. Let allow Mother Earth take in that energy because she's moving and she's going to allow that to release and bring and create energy within you. That spirit, whatever your spiritual journey is, I welcome it in. That's vitality. Getting to know you is one of the essentials in life. When you start looking at what makes you, at first it can feel kind of embarrassing because I said earlier, if you were here, that it's all about you and somebody will come at you and say that. 
but it is. It's about you so that you can clear. And then it comes in freedom. And that freedom is where your body starts healing. Vitality is about energy. And that word, vitality does come from energy. But in that word, hi, mom. That's, yeah, that's my mom's to take. This is what we happen to happen in the live show. Okay, love you. I need my mom a specialty. That is vitality. And it's not control, because what I could have done right here is just focus and not said beautiful words to my mama, because she's taken off for the day. She was here for a few days. That's vitality. It's looking at your generational stuff that gets you stuck. And when you get stuck... You lose it. You lose the energy. And life becomes something that doesn't feel like that you get to live. When you know that definition about what your definition of living is, that's vitality. So vitality is about living life and learning. And learning. Whatever that is. And sometimes we stop ourselves here. And if we stop ourselves... then things happen. I could be stuck here in my four walls and it can show up in a different way where I feel every ache and pain in my body and the energy starts slowing down. So anytime you feel that, give yourself a moment and say, man, I am not feeling good and get curious about that and notice how your walls are painted. I mean, my walls are white, but I'm not really thinking about like the color. But what's my day painted like? And you get this paintbrush. Whoosh, whoosh. It's almost like skating or on a swing. You know, like you're just like skating and going. Whoosh, whoosh. If anybody's seen those videos where people are like skating and they're doing this stuff. I'm like, here, wait, I need to go back to skating so I learn how to move like that. <laughs> or you feel your painting, your painting inside to clear. Or you're painting your walls and you're seeing your emotion. I see orange. I see yellow. And those colors are the sun for me. And the sun is the beginning of the day. And watching and being awake to watch that sunrise. That's vitality. You're creating a morning where you get to say, yes, I got this. Yes, I got this. Now, when you feel that then that's your definition of how you can create your vitality. And when you feel like you're stepping out of that, you get to go back to your definition, your journal. You go, oh, yeah, because we forget. You know, like when you're, you're, you're taken away, your thoughts are like over here, and, and then they're in here stuck somewhere, and you're like going into, I need to go get a pillow, and I need to go lay down because you can do that thing. And so, like, you're just hijacked. You're like, man, my day is whole hijacked. No more work today. I'm throwing everything away. And you're just like, I'm, you know, and you're only in your first hour of the day. <laughs> okay, you entrepreneurs, anybody else, you know, or people that are retired here. Yeah, Kelly's raising her hand. Woo, woo. But this is how we get to learn by being part of this show and really connecting. Is that we get to learn about ourselves. I want to see you here next month. When we're releasing the podcast for the next show, I want you to be here. We are speaker locking arms. You as a speaker. If you have another hashtag, throw it in. Throw it in here and share what you are all about. The more that we know about you, the more that you know about us, whoever the stars of the show are, Kimberly, Cami, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for taking your time. Every moment counts. You're going to notice how precious your time is. I respect and appreciate you, ladies, and allow us to play together. I love you, my friends. Anything else you want to add in? Just thank you. I love what you're doing here. Keep doing it. Keep surrounding yourself and your listeners with awesome people. Like Cammie. Love you, Cammie.
Thank you. I wanted to say thank you, Kimberly, for introducing me to Rhonda. I felt so, so lucky to uh, have that introduction. And I appreciate that so much. And thank you, Rhonda, for having me come and speak today. So much fun. Such a fun time. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. So we're tying a bow around it of information here. Um, now we're getting Kimberly's information in, but you have the information to connect. Keep listening. I will even break down the show for you soon. You know the point so you can find things. You know exactly where to get back to Kimberly, exactly where to get to, uh, back to Cami. So because it's, it's about a three-hour show, so you want to know how to get back there. I'll show you, and then I'll show you, um, I'll share with you in the podcast so you know exactly how to just like listen to Cami. You're right there. And you get to listen to Kimberly and it's right there for you. So you're not looking through the through the show, but I'll give you the points to help you. Have a fabulous day, uh, ladies, the stars of the show. You did a great job. <laughs> great job. And thank you, the Fresh Inspiration Show. I appreciate the love that you are here in asking the questions. Dodie, Laura, Leslie. Elizabeth, and I saw people coming in and out. Not everybody was, you know, it was um, saying things, but sometimes I noticed that uh, people, so many people coming in, I didn't know were there. And sometimes you just need that inspiration and it's just a moment and it helps you through or your schedule only brought you here for a few minutes. Love you, the Fresh Inspiration Show. Until next time, remember, this is the Fresh Inspiration Show, Mindset Transformation Entertainment. We got you private here so that you get to be in a group that feels good. So keep creating your vibe and your flow. This is your home for stuff like that. Keep growing with us. I appreciate you so much. Namaste. I love you, which is the love language right here. And I appreciate you. And from my heart to yours, you have an incredible, incredible day. <laughs>